After three years of not leaving North America, Rach and I put together a last minute European getaway. Then... Cases of the new variant, Omicron, now confirmed in at least 10 states, five more in just the past 24 hours. Also today, Britain, Germany, and Italy announced their first Omicron cases. They follow Belgium. More countries now clamping down on travel from Southern Africa. 61 people flying from the region to the Netherlands have tested... So the question is, do we stay or do we go? Seriously, is this even a question? Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Rach. For years now, we've enjoyed traveling the world together near and far. Whether it's creating lifelong memories, diving into distant cultures of the world, or just satisfying our craving to go somewhere new. We invite you to come along to experience life's journey with us. Adventure begins, huh? Having to provide proof of vaccination, each providing negative COVID tests within the last 48 hours, we were clear to travel. All right, to another trip. Typically, I hate layovers more than anything when traveling. But when traveling to Europe, I've always enjoyed the three or four hours waiting for your big flight, sipping on wine and discussing fun details about the upcoming trip, as long as everything else stays on time. Well, we made it to JFK. Mm -hmm. One step closer. <laughs> One step closer. Why don't you let everyone know where we're going? We are going to Paris. We're going to France, but we're starting in Paris. That is awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So crazy times to be traveling right now. Mm -hmm. Some might think we're crazy. I don't. You gotta, gotta live your life. You gotta live your life. <laughs> be safe about it. But be yeah. safe. And we're hanging out in the lounge right now. Just had a little bit of wine, some snacks. All right, so. We just went to the American uh, what was Admirals, Club. Admirals Club. Getting ready to board here in about a half hour. Mm -hmm. Super excited. Woohoo! All right, so our plane's about to board. Now we're going to sit premium economy. And we're going to show you kind of what that looks like, what kind of food they serve, uh, how comfortable the seats are. So we'll give you a full review of the premium economy going overseas to Europe. Pretty excited. I, I'm stoked. It's been over three years since we went outside of North America. The biggest question now. Is our flight on time? Thankfully, it is. Now I can relax a little bit. Peace, Where are we going? Paris. <laughs> Canceling headphones. Did you get a water on here? Two bottle water on this Yep, bottle of water. Already there. Two bottles of water. You got a kit? You want to show us what's in the kit? You got a pair of socks. Eye mask. Dental kit. Just Dental toothbrush kit. Toothbrush. Toothbrush, okay. Earplugs. Uh huh. A hand 
Antibody lotion. Antibody lotion. Antibody. Oh. A little pen. That is a little pen. I like that. Pen. And then a coupon to, to buy, buy expensive things. Or is it a watch or what? I don't know. Looks like it's a watch. Oh, right? Okay. Oh. All right, not bad. All right, so something, something to say here. We got the two seats. Yeah. So we were supposed to get the middle two over there. Yeah. Which. Wouldn't yeah, be bad. It's not the worst. But we got a lot more space. But now we get more space. I can come on the her side. She can come on the my side. <laughs> And if your iPad isn't charged, no need to worry. There are hundreds of movies and TV shows to watch. So you've got your remote here, which comes out, I guess. Are there plugs, outlets? Um, back behind the water bottle. Oh. If you're one of these people that keeps asking, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? This screen is for you. Not too long after takeoff, dinner was served. For premium economy, you do get a more upscale dinner than if you were sitting in coach. We went with the vegan lasagna and it was actually pretty good. The wine wasn't bad either, surprisingly. We try to sleep as much as we can on these overnight Europe flights, but it usually never works out, and we end up watching movies we've seen before in case we do fall asleep. Towards the tail end of the flight, a small breakfast was served. Coconut, cashew, granola, yogurt, and fruit. Six hours and 25 minutes later, we were ready to land at Charles de Gaulle, one of the best feelings in the world. All in all, extremely happy about our experience flying with American Airlines. did figure it out. This gentleman quickly came up to us and said, taxi? And since we were basically zombies from the long flight, we said, yeah, sure. Let this be a valuable lesson. Number one, always ask how much before agreeing on a taxi ride from Charles de Gaulle into Paris. He was a nice guy, had a really nice Mercedes, but ended up charging us 140 euros for the 25 to 30 minute ride directly into town early in the morning with no traffic. But not the end of the world. We made it to our hotel. Now hopefully we can check in and our room is ready. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check back in for more videos from our trip to France.